Hey everyone, this is Crafties for Cheap, the series we thought up to highlight an understated part of mostly indie film production, feeding your crew. I am Joshua Wobolt and with me is a group art school dropout. Hey. Hey. And since we are a small indie film production team, we are trying to keep our costs low, but try to still offer the best we can to feed our cast and crew, right? So we're trying to find cheap treats, but good eats to add to the menu of our production crafties. And today, we're going to be trying... Whoa, meat spam masubis! <laughs> to see if it fits the criteria of cheap treats, but good eats. Yeah, dude, this is like, I'm this is so actually excited. the second time. So excited, I've been talking about this guy, I've been like hyping him up. Ever you. since, like, since I, yeah. so every we're, day. We're here He'll with... message me and be like, oh my god, I swear, you have to try his food, like, it's just so good. I'm like, dude, hi, hello, hello. we need to talk about hi. work. Hello, hi. Hi. Hello, hello. <laughs> No, but yeah, definitely. It's like, a, you know, uh, how I actually found him on, on Instagram, right? And mm -hmm. like, uh, saw his food. I was like, and I took some of his recipes, fed that <laughs> shit to you. You liked it. So, <laughs> right? Very good. And it's, I didn't, I thought, like, I guess when I was like looking at your content, it's like, you know, he has like a YouTube channel. Guys, please follow him too. And it's and his oh. Instagram. And like, looking at everything, I thought you like traveled around a lot. And I didn't know where you were based at. And I, like then out of nowhere, I think it was like months, 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 I don't know, like half a year later or something. And it's like you have a pop up, and like I told Lance, like, dude, we're fucking going. I don't care. Yeah, I cancel, remember. Cancel everything. I have Because <laughs> I think I remember we were trying to like plan something, and then you're like, no, we we're going to this thing. I'm like, okay, well, all right, yeah, it's yeah. pop up. I'm like, oh, okay, so it's only like a one time thing. Right. All right, fine, I'll leave right. you guys alone. So yeah, dude, but please. I'm still going to judge it correctly. So it judge has to be fairly. a cheap yeah. treat, fairly. good eat for yes. our production. Definitely so. cheap treat, but dude, good eat. But please, like, I mean, introduce yourself now, please. Hello, I'm Chef Joshua Wobolt, the chef founder of Love Food More LLC. It's a my online media company where I just get people who love food to love food more. That's my concept, and everything I do, I make sure that that's lined up with the content I create. I'm a private chef. Um, I have a hot sauce company called Baby Daddy's Hot Sauce. Started it after the, uh, I heard my, my son was gonna be born. So it's a crazy story on that. Like the pandemic happened and it just threw us all in a loop, right? Like the restaurant wow. shut down. We know what we we're gonna do, we got laid off. And my wife and I actually started to have kids for like two, three years, mm -hmm. you know? It's like, it's whatever, we'll, let's go work. And then uh, the pandemic happened and all of a sudden like two weeks into it, you know, no job. Hey, I'm pregnant. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 what are we gonna do? So yeah, so it's crazy because like that's when I that's when I made the huge pivot to social media is because I literally I had chilies in my, my closet fermenting. Right. I blend like let's make some hot sauce. I have it. Took a picture, posted it on Instagram, and like that day I sold out. Of like not of course it's like sold out four bottles, but like I sold excess like fifty eight almost one hundred bottles in one day. Shit. And I was like, I have to figure out how to do this. And so I was like, this is crazy. So it was. Dude, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm like, do you still, I'm smelling you still everything. Sell it, right? I do. I do. Yeah, baby daddy's house. I know my husband's gonna want. Like, I'll get bottles, you guys some before so we go. Awesome. Let me know. I'll, I'll get you guys some bottle. bottle. What, are, what are we making today, dude? What are we making so today, chef? Today, we got a treat for y'all. We're gonna make spam musubi. Nice. Musubi. So that is very what's well, a classic dish in Hawaii. And if you guys like it, we have two spam. We have regular spam. Mm -hmm. I didn't get low sodium and then hot <laughs> spicy. So, sodium all the way. Sodium all the way, you know. Uh, <laughs> so what we're gonna try to do today, we're gonna, we're gonna make a uh, cheap treat, but it's gonna taste elevated, right? That's Ooh, the idea. Because yes. a lot of people don't know, man, you think to make fancy food, it's not just putting truffles on everything or making it expensive. You, the most humblest cooks know how to make the cheapest thing and make it taste good, right? Mm. So that's what we're gonna do today. So we got really basic ingredients that you can find anywhere, and we're basically going to make a dish, and I hope you guys like it. Awesome, so, awesome. Yeah, let's go. go ahead, man. That is. So first of all, we got the most expensive rice cooker in the world. So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> cheap treat. So, <laughs> cheap treat. Uh, uh, we're gonna just make sure it's ready to cook. Perfect. Nice. Right. Wow, it's so it's, good. It's, it's, like look at that rice. It's instantly. perfect. This like so we're gonna just make a little cut. All I gotta just do is just cut it in quarters here. So we're just gonna cut them into quarters, and we're just gonna flip it. So this is like an important part of rice. It's like we call it cutting rice when you're making like sushi. So like Japanese Hawaii uh, cuisine is very sim they have similarities right, mm. but the difference between this and like sushi is we're not actually gonna vinegar the rice. So sushi translates to vinegar rice. Mm. You know we make our sushi su or the seasoned vinegar, a little sweet, a little salty, and then we fold it into rice. Now I'm just breaking up and it's nice and loose. Put it back in the warmer. I will say this is very hot. I just like 
I have no feelings anymore. Yeah. So, that's that. oh, I, I'm sure I'm, I'm building mine up. Chef hands. <laughs> I'm building Chef hands, exactly. You're so casual with that. I'm just going to get some garnishes ready to go so we can actually start building this thing. I love green onions or the negi. Oh, hell yeah, dude. So we're just going to cut some up and put it in everything. But yeah, I mean, we're, we're Spam Masubi, what's your guys' feel about Spam Masubi? I love yeah. Spam Masubi. It's funny how I've never made um, a crappies for cheap yet with Spam Masubi, and this is perfect. So this, the is, it's, this is the crazy thing, I'm gonna tell you guys right now. So. I've never made Spam Masubi before. Never? What? Never. Actually, Dude. the first time I had Spam, it's not something I grew up on. It's something I had maybe five years ago. My f at a friend's Christmas party. Where? Yeah, it's crazy. So this is like a new thing for me. But Dang. that's crazy. Yeah, but I'm gonna tell you, you're never gonna know. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. I mean, it's 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 not that hard. It's rabbit. It's rabbit. So right. like, I say, I trained as a sushi chef for a couple years, right? So I'm gonna take some of the, those techniques and make it into the spam today. It's very similar. Rice, oh. meat, protein, seaweed. Yeah, it's very it similar. Because right? like this yeah. is actually a staple already in our like, yeah. uh, uh, crafties menu. We, we make spam masubis all the time. Beautiful. So you guys guide me along this journey. Yeah. This delicious journey. So I'm just open this can, right? Is this what we do? I'm like looking, I was like, does he have molds for this again? Ooh, no molds. What are we gonna do? That's gonna be a trip. <laughs> so we have the spice here. I'm just gonna take it out. Is that a trick to getting out? Oh, yeah, I, I just slapped it. Like that? No, <laughs> yeah. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, we we, yeah. we took off the spam. So what I like to see right here already is just like... Oh. Hey, yeah, look at that. See, I learned quick, man. Don't worry, don't worry. So I see already the different colors. I'm right. excited about it. So they say like the spam is best when you, uh, you sear it a little bit. So I'm gonna take out a longer knife and I'm just gonna cut, cut it. I know it's just spam with movies, but I feel like <laughs> this is like high, <laughs> high dining already. Oh man, dude, we need, I need to know your rates, dude. I just wanna hire you for like, you know, <laughs> random days. So I wanna make sure I cut it down really straight. This is about the thickness we're gonna go for. It's like about a quarter inch. You're telling me Sorry this guys, is... I just upgraded my phone, so this is a great right. chance to like just get those cinematic Ooh, get, shots. Get verticals. Oh sh. Yo, you're telling me this is not a good date night? Like, like, ask a girl, like, ask a girl over, right? I ask a girl, like, oh, what are we gonna do? Oh, you know, we're just from my house. Uh, oh my god, dude, I, I, I hired a, a chef idea. for you. That's exactly. Wait, yeah, because I would. Girl, it's the seriously. Tell me that is it not a good date night? Beautiful. That's a beautiful right? date night. I don't have to. You don't do nothing, you just show up, cook, yeah, or they just, cook, and they just clean. Just kick out the chef, and then we do that thing, you know? We're just, we're just chilling, you know? We're just chilling. We don't have a, a, a source of heat right now, so what we're gonna do, <laughs> we're gonna put this in the magic oven. Just, ch -ch -boop -boop. just kidding. Actually, we're gonna Yo, I would have like, <laughs> <laughs> you imagine? Like, Jesus Christ, he's not only a chef, but he's a wizard. <laughs> he's, a, he's a wizard. <laughs> he's a wizard. He's from Hogwarts. <laughs> so we're gonna bring some flames to action. We're just gonna get a quick little torch, get some caramelization in there. So this is the Spam's torch now. Yay. Just instantly, Yay. it's magic, right? So that's great. This is an avocado, right? A trick, I'm gonna show you guys real quick. You take the avocado, most people, they do like this, they split it open. Um, you're just gonna cut it into quarters. Like that, right? This way you can just twist it off, like that. And then rather hey. than using a spoon, it comes out easy like that. Ooh. All my hands, no problem. Trash. So this is like, a, like we said, this is a mise en place phase, right? We're just getting all the ingredients together. So we're ready to cook or assemble everything. You guys like avocado? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm in there. Oh, yeah. we won't include it. We don't have to include it. All right. So since I don't have a mold, I'm actually going to use a spam can. Surprise, surprise. Nice. Take some right, I'm sorry, I can't. You get in there, bro. Oh my god! You go <laughs> for <laughs> the spam, raw spam. That's crazy. I, I don't have the same plate, so that's what. We're, it's we're okay. With. Oh, right. Yeah, that rice is so hot. Mm. All right. So I'm taking a little rice. We're gonna just gonna put it in here. Push, 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 push. I'm so in France. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. We're not talking much. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just like I'm like leaning. Alright, and then we're gonna put a little piece of spam in there. 
It works perfect, honestly, this mold. This is great. Yeah, I mean... Oh, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> so you have to know how to pop it out. If you do the saran wrap method. All right, so let's check it. This is what we're good. <laughs> I, I thought it would happen, but it didn't happen. All right, me... Now we're going to take our nori piece here. So typically, the, what would make a huge difference too is if you torch the nori. Word? You like put it in the oven, toast a little bit. Oh, okay. yeah, that'll make it. That'll make a difference. I kind of want to do a little bit, just a tiny bit. Yeah. Okay. I look like he signed his name like, on yeah. the nori. Gonna see. This is just gonna be a straight up the basic, right? This is the basic. The basic. Ooh. Typically. That nothing wrong with the basic. Yeah. Right. We already know this is part of our. Tasting menu, right? right? So cool, a little spam guy. Oh, right. let's, let's let's try. Do you want to get hit in now or do it afterwards? I mean, yeah, you can just put it on. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, oh my god. Okay, well, okay, so. I might need you to get some. some All right. So this is the first piece here. Just the plain and simple, no problem. You can't go wrong with you the basic. You can't go wrong with the basic. This is uh, gonna start you off for, for this evening, all right? Are you gonna eat it? Yeah, I'm gonna eat it. Mm. Are you okay with that? Mm -hmm. So this one, I'm actually gonna do it like nigiri style. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna cut it into little nigiri pieces. I think it'd be rather interesting if we do it like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know how you can make this better. Let's find <laughs> out. <laughs> and then like... Oh. So now we're gonna make little nigiris. Oh damn, you're doing okay. Oh damn, yo, this feels real fancy. <laughs> this is gonna be. That's when it's serious when they do the the rice flip rice. The I was like, okay, that's, like, <laughs> that's a traditional. <laughs> like, yeah. So like, you know, we're gonna make it a little fun here. Mmm, that's so cute. It actually looked like a piece of like fish, right? Mm -hmm. What you do with that? I'm gonna get close up with that. So the trick, like when you push it on, you say hello? Anybody? <laughs> it's tricky because spam is very slippery compared to most fish. So that's why we do this guy. So spam sushi, that's kind of a funny idea. Okay. That's legit though. Now, for this one, we're gonna top it off with a little bit of some some. This is a pineapple teriyaki sauce. So we took pineapple, onion, and we just caramelized it down with a little soy sauce, a little bit of brown sugar, and that's it. Oh, and I'm we're gonna so pop excited. A little bit. Oh, don't fall, don't fall. <laughs> some scallions on there as well. Oh. Get on there, boy. Yeah. I can't believe this is iPhone, dude. This, this is nuts. All right. Um, it tastes that. like money. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I wasn't recording the entire time. Fuck, I'm stupid. <laughs> At least we have like other cameras. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, but like this is like, oh man. Yo. I got wrong. <laughs> oh, oh no, the rice drop. I, okay, I'm gonna start doing that too. Wait, let me just, can I sniff this? Is that okay? Yeah, sniff. Holy shit. So, this is the pineapple cherry sauce. Real simple, real easy. It's it like soy sauce, sugar, and soy sauce, sugar. And Andrew, pineapple. I'm so sorry. So you I, can't and pineapple? I use so I use a canned pineapple, right? Mm. And then I just use I dice up pineapple, and then I use the pineapple juice, reduce that down with brown sugar and a little soy sauce. Oh my god, that's it. Super easy. Oh shit! I'm sorry, Ed. <laughs> I know. I apologize. I am so I sorry. Make, you are behind the camera. You want me to make right now? I I give it to you. I feed it to you. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that weird? It's just like walk to the camera. Hey. Yeah, it's just like walk towards the camera. <laughs> so like you can make the big one and just have different toppings at your station so like people who don't like certain thing they can go and make their own right and then have different toppings it's like going to like a condiment bar at like a wendy's or like 
something else. Right, Wendy's. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why I say Wendy's, but <laughs> I don't know the first thing that came to mind. Maybe that's what I want right now is Wendy's. Okay, Always, so, right? Dude, I wanted Wendy's last night, dude. I was Wendy's like, is <laughs> my jam. I'll eat Wendy's every day. All right, so this is another one here. We're going to go like this. Boom. I don't know why you have a little thing there. Now, So this one here, this is a tomato bacon marmalade. So it's bacon, tomatoes, onion. It's gonna be a little sweet again. Again, like I'm contrasting. The idea behind this is like- It's sauce on my phone, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Can I- Sorry, it? it was on my finger. Or Whole Foods now, should So happen. pretty. Mm -hmm. I'm just shoving it in my mouth. <laughs> Eat. Oh, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. This is what the show is like to you. You just sit there and eat this is amazing. <laughs> No wonder you push this show. <laughs> oh my god. This is so good. Holy shit. There you go. No, seriously, holy shit, Edge. I know that sounds, I know it's silly, because it's just really, really spammy with but like, when you just mix it with taste and with, with like other flavors, it just, it becomes something. That was like refreshing. Yeah. Very good. Holy fuck. Now I'm just cursing, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> One, I one, I finally realized like how many people like I love the show. I'm like, okay, yeah, you're just sitting there eating, dude. This feels great. It's man, you're being pampered, man. That's how you get to people's uh, heart, right? You I feed love them. how we haven't even really had a full discussion. Yeah, oh, yeah, talking about shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a funny thing. That's an awesome part. I'm like sitting there, like, yo, this is a real, you know, there's some real skill here. I'm just watching. Enjoy. I mean, this is supposed to be some sort of podcast. We didn't talk I know. About shit. Like, people were just watching us shoveling. <laughs> just really eating. <laughs> Watch us eat for 15 minutes. I know, right? Uh, Dude. Ooh. Right, so next I'm one's so gonna be... sorry, Edge. I know. <laughs> we're going to want just you sit here by yourself and we'll, we'll do it solo. <laughs> All right. Oh, Next one's going to be a little bit interesting, right? A little different. Oh, okay. So this one is a take on our animal style. I don't know if you guys saw my story last night. I made this sauce. Oh. It was like an animal style sauce. So it's going to be like pickles, a little like Dijonese kind of thing with charged shishito peppers and a little bit of dill. So it's going to be a little different flavor than everything else you've tried so far. It's going to be more of like a savory aspect, a little acidity. And then we'll put some just get some fucking good. I'm like so angry at how good it looks. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the thing about it, guys, this is just spam and rice, you know what I mean? I know. So it's just, it's but that's what it is. I, I think that's the whole point. Like, I think that's the whole thing that we're trying to say about uh, the whole reason why we make crafty for cheap because we've been on a lot of productions. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, indie productions. And they're like, yeah, oh, you know, we have crafties. And it's like, like, you know, like, cheese and eggs yeah. or, or something in a cooler or right. just catering like i was on production the other day i hope i had cold ravioli it was pretty good though it was right. mushroom ravioli but it was cold yeah and those things are like they make a difference too i think like to your mood too like mm. you know you want to have like people in a good mood you want to eat good feel good i'm like trying to focus <laughs> it's so hard so yeah and this one so far <laughs> i've never felt so bad because the last time i felt like this was when you made the not cheap, the Wagyu. Oh, I, yeah. Wagyu, yeah. I, 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 yeah. I mean, the whole, like, you know, I was like, what, how can I make this really not this show, right? And I was like, okay. <laughs> and I was like, I'll holy do what shit. That, uh, the salt may guy does, right? I'll just put gold on it. I'll put, <laughs> <laughs> put caviar on it. I love it. But, it, it. but caviar, it's its own taste, and that's not for everybody. Yeah, yeah depending. I will say, there's so, the thing about caviar, there's so many different types of caviar now. And typically, the more salty the caviar, like the cheaper it is. And which is not saying it's a bad thing, it's just more like the more, the flavor tastes different, right? Even like expensive caviar, it's not for everybody. Like just that last thing that we ate, you said like, a, I mean, the all the ingredients, you said was like $14, right? Yes. And like, you know, if you think about it, I mean, this could feed, this could feed like a whole production. Yeah, you got two cans of Spam. Okay, my vote. Thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Right. This is good eat. <laughs> Take my money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah I, we would have to prep. And like, basically, it would be this. It would, we would have to sit everybody down. I have. I would have to make this. Mm -hmm. You know? I'm just like, what do you want? 
Yeah. You don't fucking. I'll just make. No, because like if you want, yeah, you can pre-roll. You can pre-roll all of this. You can pre-roll all of Have all of these just available for them to just right. Like have. Yeah, I mean, you could honestly, you could make them into rolls too. Like, I guess, yeah, we could. Like, honestly, like, you take it chopped up, you take the nori, you make roll, and you... Mm -hmm. you That's have awesome. I didn't think about... Yeah, you make, like, that, like, gunkan or something. Yeah, gunkan, yeah. Oh, my God, like an onigiri. You could do onigiri style? Oh, yeah. Yeah, gunkan. Gunkan means battleship. Yes. Yeah, it's like... it's. Um, but yes, I say that this is a uh, cheap treat and a very, very, very Yeah, but let's not end the show yet. Let's keep going. Um, okay, yeah. <laughs> let's keep, let's keep. I just want to, like, kind of at least to stick to some format of the show because it... No, wait, hold on. Because, like, <laughs> with the show, you know, obviously I'm the one that's always going, but this is, this is nice. Being here... Yeah, being right? Being on this side of the, you know, the fucking table. Oh, my God. Is this what you guys feel at home every time I cook for you guys? Yeah. Jesus Lord. <laughs> but like for the show though, you you know, you like make it extra. Oh yeah, we have to make it there. Yeah. But um, just to show people, you know. My God. I said it before, I'll say it again. I fucking love the show. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you, piece. Did you even did you try all of these before you made it for us? Funny today? thing is I never had any of these before. But you know, sometimes you don't have to touch fire to know it's hot. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I'm, um, I, like that. <laughs> I like that. I'm going for it. Okay. I'm good. Yeah. Mm. All right. Cheers, man. I'll make some make some up for y'all to try on the way home. I got to go boxes. I love you, man. Love <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys, man. Thank you so much. It's fun. To, like for me, honestly, it's it's fun to feed people. Like no, it, 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 it's fun. Like this whole experience. Like the thing about it is like. You don't need the most fine dining experience, most spend the most money to have a good time with food. That's literally my whole thing with my brand. It's like, you can love food more not by eating the most expensive food, but by like being in the right place with the right people, right. having the right dish. That, those all things, they enhance every single meal. And that's literally what the whole channel is about. That's why like, you see me posting videos with my family, with my friends, whatever. Mm -hmm. And it's always gonna be around food because. Like I get it, yeah, yeah no, it, it's fun to feed people. I love cooking for people, but. Fuck, dude! I love eating on this side. It's that's the that's the whole thing of it. Like I always say, like to cook good food, you gotta eat good food. Yeah. You know, and so like that's why we go out to eat so much. It's like it's a spam and rice <laughs> and seaweed. Hell. Yeah, that's like such a great idea. Honestly, this just came to me right now. Yeah, I'm no, like, that's that's bomb. It's just like, oh, there's some scrap pieces here. You don't waste it because like I I'm doing sushi for like Morimoto. That's his. His New York style sashimi nigiri is different mm -hmm. because he never wasted peace. Like usually in most Japanese restaurants, mm -hmm. if you can't get a nice slice, you don't serve it. Right. Mm -hmm. But more and more, if he didn't get a nice slice, he cut up in different shape and then hollow out a lime and put it in a lime with some shiso leaf. You know, so mm -hmm. it's like utilizing everything. Again, it's just him. People think it's innovation, but in it reality, just, it's just him being cheap. cheap not yeah. away, you know? so, <laughs> so it's like it's, it's that's where the best food comes from. It's from you know awesome. that is the streets, absolutely. baby. But yeah, I mean, like, is there anything that you're uh, doing? So besides, like, you know, besides Baby Daddy's Hot Sauce, right? And, and uh, Love Food More, you know, uh, all your socials. Like, is there a thing, like an event or something that you're planning in the future? Like, I have no idea, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, like, it, it's actually, uh, so my, my whole family is coming to visit us on Christmas. Mm -hmm. oh. And, like, you would think, they're like, oh, what are we going to do? Where are we going to hang out? You know what they're asking me? Like, oh, we should do a market. Let's do a pop-up. So my family wants me to host a pop-up, and they want to come help me do it. So oh my it's, God, family, awesome. like, it's, it's so my mom loves food. She, uh, she did catering for a while. My sister's actually a chef too. So <laughs> she was my sous chef at a restaurant I opened in Minneapolis. Oh, now she's out there like crushing it in Texas right now. But she wants to move up here and help me build this empire. So I'm like, all right, we'll test nice. it out a couple of times to see how it goes. But yeah, she, this I think it'll be fun to do. So we're we are looking to do something in December. I wanted to do some stuff in October. We talked about that, but right. like with the baby coming yeah. up early, yeah, so I was like, what? This is wild. Dude, so any. That so, is so nice. Like your family is so supportive. Yeah, they like, support it. Just it's like crazy. hanging out. It's just right? like, no, let's let's do something. They're like, oh, you always work. Business. I'm like, instead, they're gonna work with me. You know, so that's, that's, that's the awesome. Part. But this definitely gave me ideas. Yeah. I guess I'm gonna go to walk, like you know. <laughs> <laughs> I feed you. Feed you. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess like, for all of these variations, would you? Who? What do you say? I say yes. Oh. Hell yes. Yes. <laughs> Soon yes. <laughs> yes. I give it a Dang. thumbs up. Mission complete.
All right, guys, thanks for watching. Crafties for Cheap, and thank you for supporting us to help us keep making our indie films and web series. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah please consider supporting us by becoming a patron on our Patreon or donating to us in our Fraction Atlas for those tax deductible options. And, uh, you know, check out our merch on our website, right? Please mm -hmm. also check out, you know, Love Food More here too, right? But always remember to feed, feed your, your production. production. Did I read the wrong part? <laughs> Did I read it? I, I feel like I'm like. <laughs> it's good. Do you favor it? I'm just spam? Yeah. I'm gonna try it. Do you just spam? Yes, let's spam. Then we're talking about spicy spam, regular spam.